to be put on the floor with that. So everyone over here, 22, 21. You gotta go 22, 2200. Ladies and gentlemen, the chairman of this event, Martha Finger. Hello, I'm Martha Finger, and thank you so much for coming tonight to the Texas French Art Alliance for um, awards and auction. I want to thank my host committee, all of our friends and family who made this a great success tonight. I also want to thank my co-chairs, Clarice, Clarice and Joelle Petit, who have worked so hard for a year to get all of this together for us. I also want to thank the TFA a business director, Vanessa Abrashimi, for her long hours and committed commitment to our auction. Thank you, Vanessa. This is Judy Nyquist, our selection chair, and Lynn Wyatt, our, host, our honorary host. Deborah Boardman, who has curated this event and been hanging for two days. Wade Wilson for our auction preview at his gallery, and tonight he will be our auctioneer. The artists tonight have submitted a piece to support the Texas French Arts Alliance and their mission, which allows the Texas French Arts Alliance to raise money and support the exchange between the Texas and French artists. The artists are encouraged by the TFAA to submit a piece of art for the competition in exchange one artist will go to either Texas or France for 10 days in an art residency program. Our selection committee was chosen, to chose the winners are made up of curators from both Texas and French art galleries and museums. Each artist that entered a piece of art tonight will receive a check back of some of the commissions of the cell to continue their work for art. Thanks to so this has been possible thanks to a well-run press campaign uh, by Heather Wagner uh, from Juice Consulting, great PR agency. Uh, thanks as well to a dedicated website featuring the works and the artists. Uh, the website remains online for a couple of more weeks. I'm in love with Paris. <laughs> Those weren't my words. Those were the words in an email that we received from Daniel Kane, who won the award for Best of Show in 2008. We sent him to Paris for seven or nine days, and it was an artistic cultural exchange. The rest of his email went on to say this. What made my experience a life-changing event were the people I met. This has been and continues to be one of the most memorable and inspiring trips I've ever taken. The selection committee has chosen three winners, and Judy will tell you how we got to where we are. Well, uh, just so you know, we put a call out to um, artists, and um, we had a tremendous response from a great group of incredibly talented people who um, all gave us their best pieces as the best representation of their work. Um, and um, you see some wonderful, wonderful things here. Just, you know, we are delighted that so many French artists participated, and it's been, it's, it's a ter terrific achievement just to see these all in one place. The prize goes to Jonathan Leach. Oh, Jen's pointing to it there. Um, and um, if you look, if you see something that looks a little bit like Jonathan's tie, you'll know it's Daniel Barrioli. Barrioli, Mr. Barrioli. Danielle joins us from Nice tonight. Um, come all that way. And Between that, some, some uh, mistakes. Like uh, America, no element of uh, beauty, perfection, but inside some mistakes. Friends too, like all human, uh, human construction. What could I say? I would say uh, G, B7. S7C. Yes. See you. <laughs> so we're delighted now to be able to announce the first prize winner. Oh, and this is obviously the artist who will have the privilege of a 10-day uh, residency. And the first place is 
been awarded by the selection committee to David McGee. <laughs> I went was with a great friend of mine, Sylvan Jarman, and we had a time, folks. <laughs> so I'll be more responsible this time. <laughs> uh, but I love the city. Um, I'm glad to go to the fourth floor of the Louvre. Uh, my main guys are there, Delacroix and Jericho and David. They're so, waiting for you. Oh man, I, I can't wait to see them too. Um, um, but thank you, everybody. Uh, and thank, uh, I'm glad to support the organization. Um, my, I've had a long relationship with French culture via my pictures, and um, and it happened when I was uh, pretty much 14 years old. I was reading, and I saw a great painting by the rap of Medusa by Jericho, and um, I was enamored with the picture. And uh, when I went to Paris when I was a younger cat, I couldn't believe I was in the same room with that picture. And so a lot of my paintings have a lot to do with cross-pollination of the drama and the kind of aura of what the, the cinematic nature of those paintings. And so um, some, and it's French culture, period, from Camus to Sartre to all those guys. And I started to find um, connection between some facets of hip-hop culture and in French culture, you know, Janae and all those guys. And, and so Public Enemy, um, I found had um, a lot to do with an interesting relationship with Sartre and the movie. 